Chelsea. FA Cup winners 1-0 against Manchester United there in the final. Antonio Conte using Jose Mourinho's system against him to perfect effect. This is my match review. Chelsea won Manchester United nil. Watch a shit game of football that was from United. From the start to the finish, Man United never really looked like we were at the races. And Jose Mourinho is a manager who has built an entire career on winning games by scoring early and then holding the defence and being disciplined and sitting deep and winning 1-0. Today we saw Antonio Conte use Jose Mourinho's system against him. Eden Hazard getting the penalty in the first half. And then Chelsea, yes we had what a 20-30 minute period in that second half where Man United looked like we were dangerous but we didn't get the goal and ultimately Chelsea edged out the game. They started wasting time here or wasting time there just like Manchester United would have done in that exact same situation and Chelsea come out 1-0 winners. You can't begrudge Antonio Conte for doing that because Mourinho would have done exactly the same but for Manchester United fans there are a lot of questions to ask about that. First of all, Eric Bai. Why was he on the bench? Jose Mourinho, if if Eric Bai was 100% fit to start that game, why didn't he start that game? I'm not here to scapegoat Phil Jones because if you look at the FA Cup semi-final against Spurs, Phil Jones and Chris Smalling were sensational in shutting down Harry Kane, the best striker in the English game. So I'm not scapegoating Phil Jones. But if ba if Bai was fit and ready to start that game, then Bai should have started that game. And had he done, maybe it would have been a little bit different. But Regardless of Phil Jones and Chris Morning looking at our defence, the entire team from the back to front was poor. And I said it before the game on my preview for Ball Street. I said Manchester United winning or losing the FA Cup final depended on whether or not Romelu Lukaku started the game. He didn't start the game. He came on in the 72nd minute. And ultimately, he did nothing because we couldn't give him the ball. Our feeding into the central positions was woeful for the entire game. But regardless of Lukaku or not, Rashford really, really struggled in that central position. He drifted left, he drifted right, he hardly stayed central. Rashford was not a centre forward today when he needed to be a centre forward. And because of that, we had no, we had no shape going forward. But we never were going to have any shape without Romelu Lukaku. Really, really worries me looking at this Manchester United team with and without Romelu Lukaku because we're two very, very different teams. Unfortunately, I called it exactly spot on. Without Lukaku, Man United going forward, very, very limp. Think of the best chances we had. Lukaku's header, what, late in the game, 84th, 85th minute, was probably our best opportunity. Rashford and Matic, they both called out saves from Courtois, but he was comfortable in doing that. Eden Hazard, easily the most dangerous player on the pitch. And Rory from CSC Fan TV, he said it before the game. If Hazard has a good game, Chelsea can win the match. And Hazard won the match for Chelsea. But now United end the season after a couple of pff, dismal results against West Brom, against Brighton. Yes, we won against Watford. We finished second, but it left United fans feeling underwhelmed. And had we won the FA Cup today, it would have been a brilliant end to the season and we could have looked forward to next year with positivity. Instead now, the questions are going to be asked against Mourinho. But for me, the biggest, biggest, biggest question is the fact that Mourinho's entire system that he mastered was used against him to brilliant effect and he couldn't do anything against it. That 1-0 sitting there in your defensive shape. Mourinho couldn't do anything against it. Sanchez, poor. Rashford, poor. Lingard, poor. Pogba, poor. No individual today was responsible for United's failures. It was a collectively poor performance from front to back. No player, maybe Matic played okay, there's no player today that I would give a man of the match to because every single United player there did not perform how they should do. Against a Chelsea side who in the Premier League prior to this drew against Huddersfield and lost 3-0 against Newcastle. Chelsea came into this game without confidence in comparison to Man United. Yet, we let them dominate, control and dictate the game. And they won it. Chelsea deserved winners today. Yes, United had that 20-30 minute period in that second half where we dominated the game, but we didn't score. You could have predicted this exactly spot on. United going 1-0 down the first half, poor first 45 minutes, come out in the second half, 
play very well for 20, 30, 40 minutes, but ultimately not get the result at the end of it. United was so predictable across the entire pitch today. And it's just underwhelming and disappointing from a United side which is capable of so much more. And that's the big, big question mark that Jose Mourinho has to answer next season. Because we've got Sanchez, we've got Lukaku, we've got Pogba, we've got Rashford, we've got Martial. That set of players is capable of so much more. And that is what frustrates United fans. That is the reason why United fans will be pissed off after losing 1-0 to a poor Chelsea side against an Antonio Conte team in his last game as a manager at Chelsea. He's gone in the summer. Abramovich doesn't like him. We all know that Conte's gone. Yet a Chelsea side who are playing in their last game for Conte seem to show more grit and more determination than a team who are supposed to be a team under Jose Mourinho. We didn't see that today. And now... We go into the summer, we go into the World Cup with question marks. Nothing but question marks. We finished second in the Premier League, our best finish since Fergie. Yet, there are so many question marks. So much dire football at points this season. And now a dire performance in the FA Cup final has ended what has been an up and down, a, a topsy-turvy campaign. I don't know how you want to call it, but United today, second best for the majority. Even when we were on the top of the game, we still couldn't score. Rashford was poor. Everybody was poor. And now United, we just have to sit here for a couple of months and question what's going to happen next season. What needs to change? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I should have been at the game today. I ended up selling my ticket because, unfortunately, I'm getting married in a couple of months. And marriages are very, very expensive, if you didn't know. So, I should have been there. If I was there... I would have been just as frustrated as I am now. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Chelsea won, Manchester United nil. We've lost the FA Cup. Mourinho's lost a final. What do you think about that? As always, drop a like on the video if you're new. Subscribe to United People's TV if you fancy. Take it easy. Try and enjoy the sunshine.